Hi guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a shop that allows you to have six command blocks and can be side by side with one space gap in the middle. So this is an example. So the first one gives you a command block that only needs two um, command blocks. Um, here at least um, to actually give you the command block and take away the money and then the second one just does a whole lot of just says a whole lot of things to show you that it works without um, messing with any other shops so as you can see here there's six things that it said one two three four five six and okay so now to get on with building it so first of all I set the blocks up so that you can actually put the things there you can do like things like that um, like these gaps don't have to be there but I like putting them there because it looks a bit neater to me um, so you have to do a basic layout of something like this um, so just try and place that all down and then you need to put a repeater here doesn't matter what setting it's on, you can have it on 4, you can have it on 1 put another repeater here and another over here then you want to have two comparators both facing in this direction there and there and then you want to put a command block in the, in the middle of them then you have two hoppers, one there one there, this is your timer and so this comparator reads off this and then powers this um, which then goes over here for the test for and powers this block which then goes to the torch here and this is for the button so that it only works when you press the button and this is the AND gate so you have two torches, one there, one there now we can get on to programming, well not programming but um, you know putting in the commands um, so if you go up and down you want to look for the number that changes the most and for me that's the Z coordinate um, and so you go into the command block and you go test for at P then you do the square brackets then you do Z equals so mine's minus 95 that I use then you do something like radius of I usually do about 3 and then you do the price that you want to do it so you use your dummy variable here or you can use XP whatever you want to do here I'll leave it up to you um, and I use a dummy variable called money so to get the amount from that go score underscore money underscore min so that's like the minimum they have to have equals and I'll go 10 um, and then you can basically put in the commands so the only places you can put them are he, um, here 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 and here so they're the six places that you have to put your command blocks or else it gets interrupted or like used by um, other torches so like say if I put one here it would also be activated when this torch um, is activated which I mean you could use if you wanted one of the items to be the same in both of your shops 
um, but yeah just to show you that this works I'll put in a command here like say um, just I'll do that um, and I'll just put that in every one um, so just paste it in all of them and now seeing you can see on my sidebar it says currency and then my username and then it has the amount I have so I just added a whole lot so I can do this and so when I press this it should alright you have to put something in the timer I completely forget about that every single time so you have to put something into the hopper just one item and then it should work so then you can press the button and then it will do whatever commands you've given it so and like I said they can be right next to each other um, I it didn't take me too long to figure out how to do this but yeah I guess what you could use this for is a full set of armor and a sword if you want to sell it um, so that would be like helmet pants, chest plate, um, boots, a sword, and then how much you want to take away, like how much money you want to take away. Um, I'll leave the commands to you guys. Um, I may do another tutorial on how to do the commands, um, but for now I'll leave it to you guys to put in all the commands. I did show you how to do this one, um, this command block. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.